Hi, my name is Terry Gespicio. I'm a relationship expert, a coach, and the host of Expiration Date. I specialize in people who suffer from FOBU, fear of breaking up. Yes, it's a thing, and it's keeping you stuck in a relationship that's going nowhere. Breaking up sucks. There is no way around it. And what happens is you stay in a relationship far too long because you dread the fight, you dread the discussion, the tears, the heartache, packing up your stuff and leaving. Look, it's terrible. There's nothing good about it. There's nothing to recommend it. But what's on the other side of the breakup is well worth living for. And it's the life that you want to live on your terms. You're afraid of being alone. You're afraid of hurting the other person. You're afraid that life will end if you're not with this person. Some of you even think that what you need is a wedding to fix things. Ugh, I can't think of anything worse. I really can't. Because you know that about 50% of marriages end in divorce. I say those divorces, a huge percentage of those could have been avoided if they had broken up before they got married. I'm not against marriage or partnering, not at all. But what I do know is that breaking up now is going to be easier than divorcing later. And if I could help you prevent divorce by ending a relationship now, then I've done my job. The sooner you can face a difficult decision to end something that's not working, the sooner you can move on to something that will. I give my client the exact guidance he or she needs. What to say, how to say it, should I call it or text it? How do you get in and get out and get your stuff? I've been that person. I have delayed and delayed the breakup. I've done the passive aggressive thing where you don't have the discussion, you just become more and more miserable to be around until the other person says, I need to leave. It doesn't have to drag on and on and on, and it doesn't have to ruin your life. Most relationships have a shelf life. They end. There's something wrong when the only way we define a successful relationship is when someone dies first, till death do us part. Is that it? The goal is to just die in the relationship even if you're unhappy? I don't think so. I've been there. I've been that girl who could not pull the trigger and was miserable and let things get ugly. Ugh, so bad. And I regret it because I let it get ugly and then didn't like how I was treating that person. And that's not how you want to end it. I mean, I've hung on to people because I was so sad at the idea of them having a life without me. So sad at the idea that he would love someone else. But if you don't face it, the saddest thing I can think of is being in a lifelong, long-term relationship where you're just waiting until someone dies for it to end. That is not a place you want to be. Trust me, because you will wish you were dead. We all have regrets. We all look back at our fond memories with this person and they go, we can't end it. But you staying miserable doesn't make those memories better. Look, I'm not the Grim Reaper. I'm a romantic. I believe you should have the love in your life that you want and deserve, but every day you stay in a relationship that's not working is one more day you're not in one that is. I don't care about how, how poorly behaved he is or how she shouldn't have said this. Really this comes down to you. What are you doing about it? Because the way I look at it, if you're afraid to make a change in this situation in your life, chances are there's a couple other decisions you're not making. The, the, the fear you have that life will end, that this is it, is completely unfounded. You will be so happy when you realize that you did the right thing for yourself and for him or her. The kindest thing you can do for the person that you did or do love but can't live with anymore or can't deal with anymore is to let them go. I will give you the tools for making this happen what to say, when to call, when to meet, how to do it, how to pack your stuff and get out without anyone getting hurt. And I can help you take the action you need to take when your relationship has passed its expiration date.